Okay, it's Dustin from Film It Studios. And I'm back at it with a brand new video for you guys. I will be honest, I was... This is my second run through. I didn't hit the record button. I was just talking to the camera. I'm going to be talking... Sorry. I'm Dustin from Filmit Studios, and I'm back at it again with a brand new video for you guys. Today, I'm going to be talking about my top three games. Games I fell in love with. Games that were just simply amazing that, that I spent many hours in. It was hard to put it down. Oh, sorry, allergies. My nose is stuffy. It was hard to put it down to one exact or three exact games but I did first game we are going to talk about Borderlands 2 when Borderlands 2 came out I had no idea what Borderlands was I've never heard of the series I didn't know what it was I mean, I've just heard a few people from school talk about it but I went to GameStop one day and I picked up Borderlands 2 and with GameStop's reward program, they said I could get a free game, or a free, uh, something free worth, uh, with the same value, that was 20 bucks. And I picked up Borderlands 1, so luckily, I walked out, I walked out with Borderlands 1 and 2. And the reason why I really love it is because it's multiplayer and the fact that it's an amazing looter shooter. Looter shooter meaning you're killing something, you're killing an enemy, you're picking up their gun, you're picking up their gear, and you keep going. The storyline, it's about four vault hunters that set off on a journey to find what's really hidden in the vaults. And it's a game that I've spent I don't know how many hours in, but I fell in love with it. I fell in love with, it, with the storyline. Borderlands, the pre-sequel. Great game, but eh. Anyways, guys. The main point is it's perfect for you and your friend. You have nothing to play. You pick up you pick up uh, the controllers and you become a vault hunter. A second game for you. It's an older game by the name of Monster Madness. Back at it again with the four-player co-op. <laughs> it is a four-player co-op. It's about four characters, Zack, Andy, and two girls. One goth, one cheerleader. And they set off across... They set off on a journey to find out what's what caused the zombie outbreak. And the ending, I'll never forget that ending. But I, it was another game where I went over to a friend's house. I didn't have my Xbox at the time, but we popped it in. We'd pull all nighters. There was really hard parts that we put our mind and heart into, and when we finally beat it, we felt accomplished. And it was a good feeling because it's what brought us together. It's what brought our friendship together. But I really do want to pick up that game again and after all these years. You guys can see the broken Rubik's Cube right there. But Monster Madness, I would rate that game a 10 out of 10 because it brings your friends together. Oh, it brought my friends together. And we all worked together for one thing, and that was Monster Madness. Okay. Sorry, my nose is kind of stuffy. Game number three. It's kind of a mainstream game. Black Ops 2. Now, the reason why... I really like Black Ops 2 is because it was one of the first games I had my, for my 360, but 
I wanted to be in like phase, optic, all that shit. I wanted to hit trick shots. Then, sad day, my friend invited me to another gaming party where I packed up my Xbox. I brought it over to his house. He had his PS3. More friends came over. And I forgot to take out the Black Ops 2 disc when I packed it up. It was fucking gay. And the reason why I bl like Black Ops 2, sorry, I just went really dark right there. Come on, focus, you slut. Okay, there we go, we're back. The reason why I like Black Ops 2 is because it's story. God, you're gonna piss me off. Its storyline was good. But it's multiplayer is the best at its at the time. The multiplayer, my remember my favorite map, hijacked. That map was that map was good. And plus the black ops zombies uh the intro oh fuck I'm stuttering bad. Transit transit was amazing. I I like the idea that you had to get on a bus to move each spot to each spot. I'll be honest, I only successfully built the wonder weapon in that game one time. And then I was by the lava and it overheated and it overheated and all the parts fell in it. I had to build it again. It built again. But anyways uh, there was, there was a lot of good maps. It's, all these games have to do with common is me spending time with my friends. Oh, disgusting. But, they all have to do with common, because hanging out with my friends, that really... Gave me it. That really helped me with the list. What games I connected with my friends, what we had the most time with, and what games I liked overall. Other game. There are lots of other games I can play. Like. I have all of those games I'm in love with. I like almost every game over there. But I did. I'm a huge Madden fan. The uh, Saints Row, Saints Row Four is absolutely amazing. Uh, games like NBA. I'm a sports fan, but those are a few other series that were close. So to wrap it up, Monster Madness, Borderlands Two, Black Ops. Too. Those were the three games that I enjoyed on the Xbox 360 the most. I know there are tons of great games out there, tons of great games. You could disagree with every single one I've said, but I don't give a fuck because these were, this was my list. These were the games that I thought... Were fucking awesome. Anyways, guys, don't forget to subscribe for more content. Sorry, don't forget to subscribe for more content. Uh, you can find my Twitter handle at our page. And guys, sorry, it was just my birthday and. I got these glasses if you can't see them because it's black again, which adds to the effect. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. This is Dustin, also known as Chronic Wolf. See you all in the next video, motherfuckers.